top seven mistakes in relationship how to prevent conflict in a romantic relationship hi guys my name is elena semenek and this is my youtube channel psychology of happiness welcome today i would like to offer you a free webinar about mistakes in a relationship and teach you how to prevent or avoid some of the problems in the relationship when you meet your partner and fall in love you believe that he she is the one you adore your partner you think that you're meant to be for each other uh, some couples don't have arguments and fights for months they are gentle and attentive to each other unfortunately within time little by little we face some misunderstandings we pay less and less attention to each other's needs and our wonderful loving relationship becomes complicated the love journey can be rough you get into fights more and more often and sometimes you might even think that you made a mistake in choosing this person Today I would like to talk to you about steps, specific steps and give you some guidance uh, how can you prevent conflicts in a romantic relationship and how to get your relationship back on track. So let's start. The foundation of any relationship is communication. After all, you two have to talk to each other. That's super simple. Mistakes happen in both relationships and in marriages. When it comes to communication, a few mistakes stand out above the rest. Let's talk about those mistakes. Relationship mistake number one is assumption and this is a huge and common mistake in the relationship. Assumptions are the number one issue couples have. It's so easy to make an assumption about your partner's decision, but if you do so, you can misunderstand their real intentions. To avoid this mistake in your relationship, ask clarifying questions. Here are some examples that you can use. Yesterday, when you mentioned so and so, can you please clarify what you mean by that? Another example, when you said X, Y, Z, would you mind telling me more about it? Third example, if I understood you correctly, when you were saying this, this and this, did you mean that XYZ. Relationship mistake number two, talking to your partner while they're doing stuff. Not everyone can multitask. Actually, scientists have proven that no one can do two tasks at the same time. In reality, when you're trying to multitask, uh, your brain is jumping from one thing to another. Therefore, there is a big chance that some information will be lost, diminished, or devalued in the process. The key to great communication is both partners' full attention. Many couples tend to talk to their partner when they're busy at work or when they're watching TV or checking Facebook on their phone. You can say that it's rare and almost impossible that your partner doing nothing, and you will be right. This is the reality of our world. Unfortunately, the communication while your partner is busy won't bring you anything except misunderstandings and even a new conflict. I'm sure that you've experienced it many times and probably sometimes your partner has tried to talk to you while you were occupied by something important and you've misheard them. Just be patient. Don't start the conversation while they're busy because they may answer impatiently. They might give you wrong answer, which could create a new conflict. Wait for a good moment, especially if you have to discuss something important. A good time to discuss things might be right after dinner when your partner is still sitting at the table next to you, but already content with a full stomach and ready to talk about his day or discuss other problems. Uh, if you go on a walk together, this also might be a good time to talk. 
Or maybe before going to sleep, of course, if your partner is not exhausted and not falling asleep. Uh, you can actually ask your partner when is the good time to talk. For example, you can say, uh, I have some ideas about family vacation that I'd like to share with you. Let me know when you have free time to chat about it. Very important. Do not talk to your partner like to a little kid and do not say that you need to discuss something important because when you say I need to talk to uh, to you about something important, this phrase, uh, something important, might create tension and your partner might think that you want to criticize them. This can put your partner into a defensive mode before the conversation has even started. So state your concerns up front. Do not be cryptic. Uh, do not say uh, that you need to discuss something important, but rather say, I have an idea about family vacation or I'd like to talk to you about tomorrow's presentation or I'd like to talk to you about our children's education. So be specific and this will, uh, this way you will avoid lots of unnecessary tension. Let's compare two sentences. Sentence number one, there is something important that I want to discuss with you. Let me know when you have time to talk. Sentence number two, I've been real upset lately about our misunderstandings. I don't want to escalate things any further. I would really appreciate if we can talk about it, perhaps tonight after dinner. What do you say? Did you catch the difference? Relationship mistake number three is broad generalization. This falls under always, never, every time, everyone categories. These universal statements are harmful to any communication, to any relationships. No one wants to be compared to anyone. No one wants to wear the stigma of always being rude, always being impatient, always being busy, or always being anything. We want to be unique. Every one of us wants to be unique and important, especially in the eyes of our loved ones. Try to avoid those words while talking to your partner. Instead of always say, last Monday you said X, Y, Z. Instead of every time say, I've noticed that you'd like this, this, and this. Instead of never say, uh, I've noticed that you prefer so and so. Relationship mistake number four is being overly critical. Criticism can be deadly for any type of relationships. There is a fine line between constructive criticism and being judgmental. This line is easily crossed, especially in times of conflict. Criticism can be extremely hurtful and leave traces for years. When one partner is criticizing another, it damages trust. It can prevent a partner from talking about other issues in the future because they were criticized extensively the last time. Try to avoid judgment and criticism. It's better not to criticize at all. Because again, this line is easily cross, especially in time of conflicts. Another major relationship communication mistake is not being empathetic. Instead, many couples begin to lecture one another. You might say that it is important to say the truth, to be open, to be honest in a relationship no matter how cold it might sound. And yes, I agree with you. Yes, you should be honest with your partner. Yes, you should um, be truthful to your partner. But there is a way to say something without interrupting and putting down the other person. If this sounds impossible to you, then perhaps for your couple, this is the time when you should consider seeking out professional help and perhaps join personal or couples therapy. Even if you think that your relationship does not have any future, at least you can try to separate in a respectful way without putting each other down. Not being sensitive to your partner can shut down the person emotionally. 
and cause them to withdraw. Or they might become angry and defensive, which is also bad for your relationship. Compassion goes a long way, especially with couples. Relationship mistake number six, interrupting and not listening. Doing this is disrespectful and rude. It communicates what I'm about to say is more important than you. This will make a person feel unworthy. Many couples do this, and it often leads to prolonged conflicts. Listening is a huge skill, and many couples unfortunately don't know and don't want to try to listen. If you start talking over each other, just notice it and take a short pause. Because when you interrupt each other, nothing will get resolved. Not listening is itself often the source of many arguments. Relationship mistake number seven. Avoiding important talks. Couples need to have important talks or else the problems might escalate. Difficult conversations unfortunately need to happen. You will have conflicts in a relationship. This is normal. If you don't have any conflicts in your relationship, then this is a red flag. Something is wrong. Maybe you're suppressing your feelings or your partner is suppressing your feelings and you're pretending that everything is good. If you avoid sensitive subjects, it will make your relationship worse. Once you learn to discuss complicated topics, you will build trust in your relationship. Your bond with each other will deepen and your relationship will significantly improve. So conflicts are not always bad. You just need to know and to learn how to listen to your partner and how to discuss complicated topics, how to manage your relationships and how to be empathetic. Once you learn how to talk about important, uh, deep topics, you will trust each other more, you will have each other's back, and you will support and rely on each other.